Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to restore a deleted Active Directory user account uh, without a backup. Um, so by default, Active Directory has a tombstone lifetime of 180 days. Um, what that means is it's going to keep deleted objects for that time period. So let me show you how to check that. So you can check your tombstone lifetime with this long command. Um, I will put this in the notes, but um, you've got to you got you got to grab your uh, distinguished name of the root of your domain, and there you can see 180 days. Uh, you can also do it through ASDI edit, but this is a little easier. So back to this other server. Um, so you can restore deleted accounts through a PowerShell command, and then you can also do it with the AD recycle bin. Uh, but on this server, I don't have the recycle bin enabled. I'm going to show you the difference, um, and it's important to know to not just go turn on the recycle bin if you have accounts that need to be re, uh, restored. Um, if you do, they will be gone. So if you've deleted an account without the recycle bin enabled, and then you go enable the recycle bin, the account's gone. You can't recover it without a backup. <clears throat> so I'll come in here. It's this John Smith account, you can see I've got some things that are on that description office telephone number, and I will delete it. So now I will run the command get ADO object, and you can see there's the count John Smith. So then you can, uh, I'll need to get the object quid. You can also restore it by this distinguished name, uh, but I'll do the object quid, and you'll use, I'll just copy this. here and then you've got to set a name so I'll copy and paste this so it's restore ADO object identity the GUID and then give it a new name okay if I come back over here click refresh see the account has been recovered but you can see it's blank um, so this is the drawback of restoring without the recycle bin is it does not preserve the user settings. It does preserve the SID, so that comes in useful if you've got the account um, set on uh, folder permissions, different ACLs or different applications that was using the account name. Um, so it will restore it and maintain the SID, but you can see everything else is gone. So now let me jump over to my other server and restore <clears throat> an account uh, with the with the recycle bin so with so all you got to do is open up active directory administrator center click on deleted objects and it's going to list all your deleted objects uh, so i will just select one and click restore um, and then if i came and open up that account it's going to this is an account that i recovered earlier it's going to preserve all of the user settings so that is the benefit of the Active Directory Recycle Bin. It makes it easier and it preserves everything. Just make sure you don't. The drawback is if you enable it, it's you're not going to be able to recover anything that was deleted before you enabled it. Um, and another option is you can use our Active Directory Pro Toolkit to restore accounts. Um, <clears throat> it's basically the same thing as using the Recycle Bin, but if you're using our product, it just makes it easy to do everything from a single interface. Just click on restore deleted users. It's gonna pop up and show you all your accounts that you can recover. Again, this uses the recycle bin, so just select an account, or multiple accounts, and click restore, and it's gonna restore those accounts. So those are the, the two options to restore accounts. Um, I'll link to an article uh, that goes over some of this in details. Here's some of those details in a, in a bullet point that you'll want to read. Uh, it's, it's, it's important to understand the difference um, uh, restoring without the recycle bin and the recycle bin, knowing your tombstone lifetime, and knowing that without the recycle bin, it doesn't preserve them. And I know I've said this multiple times, but it's super important because if you went and searched this and you see stuff on forums and, and Reddit, um, most people just say enable the recycle bin, enable the recycle bin, and, and nobody's mentioning that if you enable the recycle bin, you're not going to be able to recover any of those accounts that were deleted without um, an actual backup. Um, so that's it. I'll put some links in the notes, and thanks for watching.